Welcome back to the Kiknet program. It is July and we have a new theme called uh, voices. There's so many voices going on. Um, we hear, we see, um, and movies and trends on social media and TikTok videos. And there's so many which require our attention or put out standards. And which ones do you follow? And if this is the questions that you are asking, stay tuned for this month because we are going to zoom in into the different voices this month. We find our scripture reading in John 10 verse 27. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. It's like being in a crowd or in a room which is crowded with people. Everybody talking at the same time, music playing at the background, and you hear your friend calls your name somewhere, but you cannot find them. There's so many voices going on and that we as young people are struggling with. We, it influences our thoughts, our minds, social media, and the trends that's going on challenges us in the different ways we look at ourselves, how we look at others. It influences how we view relationships, this view um, on how we dress. Um, it's on how we, we view the future, how, how we view school, um, how to get to drop out of school and to just work yourself um, Find a way for yourself. Uh, there's, there's ways in relationships. I heard there's a trend called uh, vibing. Just have it not commit to one person, but having different relationships. Or um, there's no strings attached to relationships. Fashion tells you or shows you today what you feel, need to feel comfortable in, even if it's not comfortable for you. It's on how short your skirts need to be or how tight... Um, your dresses should be because it's how you they tell you that you need to be comfortable in it um, but it's actually just a way of selling some type uh, clothes it's an, a way on um, exposing yourself um, if you don't wear too uh, if you wear too many clothes or too many fabric it shows that you you don't have confidence but this is the voices that we hear these are the voices that's going on and we are struggling to identify because I can just imagine hearing so many people telling you at the same time on what you should wear, how you should look and it's, it can be overwhelming. What do you trust? How do you, how do you distinguish between these voices? Are you at a place where you feel like you are so under so much pressure? with your friends, through the TikTok videos, the trends that's going on. How do you keep it alive? How do you continue? Are you tired of pretending, wearing this mask, of being happy in your body uh, because of what you should wear, on what boys you like or girls like? Um, do, you, do you feel excluded if you do not do these certain things? How do I, how do you survive in hearing or knowing which voices to trust? I can tell you that there is one voice that you can trust and that is Jesus' voice because he's the one that knows you. He's the one that, um, he knows what your desire is. This verse where the good shepherd, you cannot, at that time in the Bible when Jesus was using this illustration, he was actually showing that as that the sheep knew his voice. Um, at the same time, at the same illustration was used for for sh shepherds who was looking after their flock. The sheep could hear the, the voice of the shepherd from far. They could know that this was their shepherd and they didn't have to go astray because someone sounded like him. So. It was difficult to steal sheep at that time because they weren't led astray. And they only knew his voice because he was the only one who spent time with them. And, and this is what we need to do. We need to spend time with Jesus in order to know how his voice sounds like. What are the voices that 
we need to hear what does Jesus say Jesus say um, if you know that he says that you're wonderfully and perfectly made um, if he says that I have the best plans for you not to harm you if he says that he loves you if he says that you are enough if you start to know the language that Jesus used, then you don't have to worry or compare yourself to what others say. Because if you start to realize that the only voice that that actually matters is the voice that Jesus, of Jesus, and that He wants the best for you, the way you can distinguish the of this world and the voices of Jesus is that Jesus says that you are enough that you are forgiven, that you nothing you do will make him love you more or less. And the world says exactly the opposite. It says that you are not enough. You need to change the way you look. You need to um, try to do stuff in order to be liked, to fit in, um, to be to be included. You, you need to be a certain type of person in order to fit in. You need to look beautiful in a certain way. When you dress a certain way, when you have enough makeup on, or when you have, um, when you have a certain type of body shape, or when, when you, you have enough muscles, or when you are on the, the uh, rugby team, or the first netball team, or the first, or you go to the gym, or you have, or you have how many followers on Instagram, or you need to um, do a certain thing or certain day in order to complete or to be part of this group. How is that fair? If you are struggling to know or to fit in or feel like you belong, or not to know, not knowing which voices to listen to. Take time and realize that this is actually, you only need one voice. Maybe it will look like you won't fit in. My whole life I didn't fit in because I was the, the pastor's kid. I was the, the one that go to Sunday school, the one that go to youth. But this, when I started to realize on an older age um, that I can, I can be enough just the way I am and I don't have to change anything to in order to be a certain person type of person for a certain person and this gave me this is how I was I started to be happy and complete in myself not because I was a set that someone accepted me because of this titles or these things but because of who I am and the voice that I am following is the voice of Jesus because I knew, I know that he made me enough. He made me beautifully enough. And this was the standards that I want to keep and not the standards of this world.